Jacques Saint Germain was a French count who is shrouded in mystery. All historical records point to him being a very well-known figure in high society, having close ties to people like Marie Antoinette and other French royalty. Even the philosopher Voltaire was literally quoted as saying that Jacques is simply a man who will not die. Once the French Revolution came around, however, Jacques just disappears from historical records. Until over a hundred years later, 1900s New Orleans, a man with the same name gets off a boat from France claiming to be a descendant of the original Jacques Saint Germain. And all historical records I've come across show that he didn't marry or have any kids. This man was extremely wealthy and would throw lavish parties at his home in the French Quarter. He would sip on his red wine and entertain guests with his vast talents and knowledge of musical instruments. It's actually said that he could pick up any instrument and within a few minutes be able to play it as if he had been practicing his whole life. Party guests have said that there would be endless food and drinks at these parties, but none of the guests could recall seeing Jacques actually eat the food. New Orleans easily has the best food in the United States. So seeing as though their host wouldn't indulge could send some red flags. Since the liquor and the wine were flowing, no one really seemed to care though. These parties would continue for years until one evening in 1903, two men knock on the door. They were friends of his and they wanted him to join them in the Marigny at the gambling table. Jacques always spread the wealth at these craps tables so he was somebody to invite at any time. This night, however, he informed his friends that he was a bit indisposed at the moment, but to come back in the morning. Just then, a woman falls from the second story balcony, crashing at the men's feet. She begins screaming and claiming that Jacques tried to kill her by going for her neck. When the police arrived to take her story, they didn't use their full capabilities. The officers just questioned Jacques, but he told them that he would not mind cooperating in the morning when his head was a little clearer as he had one too many drinks. The police actually agreed to allow Jacques to meet them at the station in the morning to collect his testimony. This happened after a small bribe, you know. NOPD have rarely shielded away from corruption. The next day, Jacques did not show up to the station as promised. The police went to his home to discover it to be unlocked and completely empty. Baffled, the cops noticed the only things left behind were a couple of bottles of Jacques' red wine that he would drink at every party, never allowing anyone else to have some. One officer opened the bottle and took a sip, and he began to vomit and gag as the bottle smashed the floor into a million pieces. Jacques had been drinking a combination of human blood and absinthe to keep the blood from coagulating. Jacques was never seen again or heard from again, and his story is still one of the great mysteries and intrigues of New Orleans. Today, there is a man named Jack who roams around the French Quarter claiming to be an actual descendant of the original Jacques Saint Germain. Watch yourself around him though. He's known to go for people's neck. Follow us at Louisiana Dread.